Don't waste this crisis. What on earth could I be talking about? Yes, this is Deborah, and you're listening to the Voice for Fitness Professionals podcast. And I've not lost my mind, maybe close, but we have lost the way we've done business as fitness center owners, as personal trainers, even as health coaches. We've lost the way we've done business if we delivered it face to face. It's gone. And yet now, if you're still trying to figure out a way to take your personal training business digitally, meaning you're still meeting with one client at a time and you're still delivering one-on-one sessions, in fact, you're creating a session that they will use over and over again, you really got to take a good look at this. I'm Deborah Atkinson. You are listening to the Voice for Fitness Professionals podcast, where in normal times when we had them, I share marketing and sales strategies that are anything but sleazy, salesy, pushy, so that you can build a life and a fitness business you love so that you've got freedom to do the things you want to do and the money to do it with. But today I'm diving into how to recognize that this crisis may be something that will light a fire in you to come up with something more creative in your business than you ever would have had you not had it. There are two kinds of people right now. There are those who will take this as an opportunity, see it as the opportunity that it is for some of us. And then there are those who will wait and worry. And I think it's the job of those of us who see this as an opportunity to get creative, to take advantage of people who've stopped training with their trainers, stopped going to fitness centers who still need help and come up with a solution, a working solution for right now. And that's what this episode is all about. Just a quick note, this episode, like this entire July, 2020 streak of 30 days of podcasts to help you right now in this moment is brought to you by the flipping 50 fitness specialist. If you're working with women in midlife, you're not getting them results and, or you yourself are going through hormonal changes that have changed the way exercise works for you. You are the perfect candidate to be a flipping 50 fitness specialist. Someone asked me the other day, well, why would I do this with you? And the point is not that you would do this with me, but that you need the education and you need the research and you need the formula and the method that work. And you could spend eight years and find all the research and continue to stay on top of those pieces of literature being released right now and verify that they work and run your own programs for six years and prove to people that you too have trained 150,000 women in addition to personal trainers and health coaches. But to have that kind of credibility takes time. So we can accelerate your learning curve and get to the leverage with the marketing and the sales strategies to help you get started. I'll post the link in the show notes and you can look now at fitnessmarketingmastery.com forward slash programs. If you're interested in getting started, let's dive into this. So don't let this go. We really need to take advantage of the moment we're in because we're in it. We might as well, right? What I want you to look at is Business as we know it is gone, but you can figure out a way to take your business to a different level, one that didn't exist. And I hesitate to say to the next level because that's so cliche and we don't know what that is, but you can change it. So we've got to take a look at how you're creating a digital business because most likely you are in some way, but know that if you're creating videos for for people, you're doing live sessions with them or creating videos and then delivering them to them that you own that property and you should be using it, should be losing their name from it, not actually using it. So be smart as you create those videos so you can edit them maybe at the front and at the back just a little bit so that it's for anybody who would have the same set of problems as this client does. So let's face it, you and I know that we're going to see similar problems in many of the clients that we work with, especially if you have a niche over and over and over again. Now, you know, if you work with women in midlife, like I do, there are certain things that come up 
And they are, how do we work around, say, hip bursitis or knee issues and still get them the metabolism boosting exercise that they need? They are, how do we target high intensity interval training with no equipment while they're stuck at home? They can't climb onto the bike or the elliptical trainer. What do we do to get them low impact, but yet high intensity exercise that they can do that won't be damaging to their joints? You know you're going to solve those problems over and over and over again with certain people. So hang on to those videos because they're golden. Then go into a vault or a library, and then you can use them again for a multitude of things. For instance, immediately you could use a video you create and use it by creating a teaser, you know, like a trailer for a movie. You edit that video down even right on your phone simply, or you do it even in iMovie again on your phone or in another device that you now have marketing and, and some kind of a tool that you can use to market on any of your platforms. So let's distinguish your message would be the video and how you've solved problems for a client. Your marketing is where you put that message. It's just the platform, social media, your email, uh, your website, all of the above. Your message though, your message is what's important. And that's what we're going to spend the rest of this podcast talking about which this is a short podcast, by the way, so stay with me here. We're going to talk about what is your message? Do you really know what it is? Because right now it cannot be the same one that you had in January or February of 2020. You have to address now and you have to predict the future. You have to figure out a way to use a message that gets across now and gets across what we want to say And what it is we all want to say right now as trainers and health coaches is this, exercise is required in order to be healthy and to have a strong immune system. It requires exercise now, right? We can't wait. We can't put it off till it's convenient, till the gyms are open or we feel safe coming back to the gym. This alone is not a good message right? Even though exercise is required to have a healthy and strong immune system, that statement is factual. That statement is not emotional. It's the underlying underskirt of the message. So now you have to figure out what was your message before? Take a good look at that. And then no, that's just not going to work. You know, if you were using some kind of esoteric tagline, Things are so much more real than, you know, losing that last two pounds, three ounces that somebody can't lose. In January of 2020, even if you weren't losing or using something or you were and it was working, like you can't outrun a bad diet. Truth, right? But right now that is just so trite, it's not going to work because there's a real problem here. I mean, people are at home and they're working at home. Their kids are at home. They have to be home. There's no camps. There's no place to send them that's safe. So the pantry, the problem, the overeating, it's within feet of where they are every day, all day. And that's a real problem. And then there's stress. And what do we do when there's stress? We tend to crave things that are not necessarily kale and salmon. So right now, people may care more about their belly fat. They may care about the extra weight in the middle, but you can't just make light of it. You can't skip over it. You really need to get a message that isolates the importance of the quarantine 15 as a health risk more than anything, right? That's the truth. So it's certainly not going to do wonders for your sleep, potentially, or your sleep apnea or your energy level or your confidence or on and on, right? But what you're looking for is something short and sweet, something similar to a tagline. And if you're not using, or you're not used to telling stories with your messages, you've got to get good at that right now. You, you don't have time to wait because it's the only way to really relate to somebody right now is to talk in stories, to tell stories that connect you to them. These stories, they're not about you. Don't tell stories about you. We do need to relate to people. And I can link to a very recent podcast I did about the know, like, and trust, and that 
It's about not liking you, like being your friend. It's about being like you. People want to know that they're like you. But this is going down a different path today. These stories need to be about your customers. Describe them. Tell stories about them. And these are not testimonials. That's also different. You need an emotional grab. When somebody looks at testimonials and they see the pre or the before and they see the after picture, it's amazing, right? Shock and awe. But right now, I mean, that just feels like another thing. It's noise pollution. So, you know, what do we all need right in this moment? Everybody. And I'm thinking, trying to get you to think about what are your audience's problems? Well, some of it is we miss our families. And I don't mean our immediate families. For some people, if you're at home and your mom or your dad and your kids are, say, at home and they've been home from school and you are homeschooling, you are not missing them. You're kind of wishing maybe they could go to camp, but you may be missing extended family. You may not have been able to see that newborn baby during COVID. You may be missing somebody who's ready to pass. You may be missing someone you know, you know, isn't on their deathbed, but has a limited number of years. And it could be today, it could be tomorrow, it could be two years from now, but you may be missing your adult children and your grandchildren. We're all dealing with those kinds of problems. All those things are true for all of us. Potentially people are being reminded right now of what is truly important to them. They're doing some rearranging in their mind about what they want to do and what they want to be true for them in the future. But none of their hopes and their dreams or wishes, none of their skills and talents and uniqueness that is only them will get to the reveal itself or play out without health and exercise is a key part of that. A client of mine, and you are welcome to use this, once said to me truly out of the blue, and let me tell you this before I tell you the thing she said, I couldn't have asked for a better testimonial. I don't know what I could have ever have prompted her with to say this, but what she said after having cancer, after having blood sugar issues, and after having multiple injuries from falls, she said, no matter what the question, the answer is exercise. That's an example of a good story in a very few words that gets the message across. You might want to go into it a little bit more, but you start with that. That could be the start of a blog post, of an Instagram post, where you're talking about mental health and how easy it is to spiral down and think of the negative right now, but how you could get positive and how, how much exercise has a part in that and being positive and doing something physically positive can set you off in the right direction with your thoughts. So starting to preface it during COVID, we all have a lot of questions, don't we? Right? Some of those questions will go unanswered, but for now we can find the answers to some questions that will help us have the resilience to search and find the answers to other questions. And then you drop in, no matter what the question, the answer is exercise. That's your lead tagline. So what tagline were you using? Was it esoteric? Take a look at that now compared to this kind of a tagline. Get rid of those esoteric things associated with your business right now and start plastering a message that is more meaningful to you. Something relevant right now has to be your message. You need to talk about it and you need to get your customers and your employees to talk about it if you have employees so that they can repeat it. And you are more than welcome to use the one I gave you. You can use it as long as you put your original self into it. It won't work for you if you simply plagiarize somebody else's message and, you know, hope that, you know, hundreds of other trainers using the same message, yours will still work for you. You have to make it personal from you for your customers. How on earth could you ever expect somebody will put, pull you out of the same competition with hundreds and thousands of other trainers if you're using their message. 
which marketing channels will you use to get your email and your social media platforms out there? So you will use email, but are you using MailChimp? Please don't go in and use your personal Gmail account or your Yahoo account. You need to be using something like Constant Contact or MailChimp or AWeber or Entreport, so many others. Use a strategic plan for social media, not just slapping it up. And this will be a good one. This will be a good one. You should have your entire week mapped out, if not your entire month right now. And in the next podcast, I'm going to talk about funnels because that's where your social media and your email should go. If you haven't got a funnel, I'm going to offer you a 90 minute session to look at your funnels so you can build one and make money right now. You can start making money right now, even if you weren't making any money before, because there are some businesses that are just sitting, waiting, worrying, watching, and not acting or changing what they're doing. This week, you can start making money. You can't do that by randomly saying hello to somebody on social media and then saying, you need to exercise. Here's what I have to sell that you can buy. That just doesn't work. If it ever did, you were really, really lucky and you were lazy. I have to say it. And it doesn't work. If you work for a fitness center or a club that serves all kinds of audiences from young to adolescents to athletes, to college students, to moms and dads, midlife women, and older adults. They don't all need the same message. So if you're emailing all of them at once, basically putting spam in their box because of, of those people, all those markets, there's five or six markets there receiving the same single email. There's very little percentage of that email that pertains to them. Why would they continue to open your emails if that's true? You can't right now, you can't just sell personal training. You can't just sell packages. You can't sell EFT. You can't expect that talking about the way they can buy something is sexy. Meaning you can buy them one at a time. You can buy them in a package and save, or you can buy them via EFT. That's not a way to talk about what it is they need and offer a solution to a problem. Now, there are people right now who are prospects for you that may never have been your customer before, as well as your prior customers who've had to stop or chose to stop coming in your doors if you're a face-to-face business because of COVID. Don't neglect them. There are opportunities because others are not serving those people. They're just waiting and they're suggesting that when you feel comfortable, you'll come back. And, And what are those people doing right now for exercise? If they're not doing anything, you, you are probably believing in fairy tales. So if they have been a regular exerciser and they bought into the fact that they need it, they're probably a little scared. They need to boost their immune system and stay active. They're doing something. They're finding somebody else online. If you're not providing something. So, you know, not a lot of people are choosing to go into fitness centers and that may be true for a long time, but you can do something else. I'm 56. I've done eight Ironman. I did one last November. I'm extremely healthy and I quit. I just don't need to be there right now. I didn't want to be there not wearing a mask. And I certainly don't want to be there wearing a mask when and if mandatory masks stop. And as I went in last time, which was the first and the only time since COVID started, I saw 99% of members standing side by side on equipment that is side by side with no equipment marked off and no one had a mask on the staff walking in had masks on and they were six feet apart, but no one else in the entire building did. You don't know what you're getting into. We just don't know whether you're pro or con masks, whatever your belief is. I think we just don't know enough that I'm going to be safe rather than sorry. But a lot of people you're reaching out to, whether they have the opportunity to come in or not, they're potentially waiting, but they're, they're not going in. They're choosing to stay home and stay safe. But that means they're still looking for some kind of option that feels right. You know, and I know there are dozens, if not hundreds of options that come through your timeline every single day for fitness, but 
they don't fit and feel good to everybody looking at them. So there are a lot of people right now who don't have something to choose from. And they're like rolling around waiting. They're like marbles waiting to drop in the right hole. And it could be you. So personal trainer, if you don't want to waste this crisis, this opportunity, take advantage of it. There are potentially more people available to you, but not for you to sell the same old thing. Don't sell that same old business model. You won't be able to do that for a long time, if ever again. You know, it was never based. It was never about a beautiful facility and hundreds and thousands of dollars worth of equipment. Your business really was always about the people in your business on both sides, your customers and your employees. So if you haven't trained them well, now's the time to get started. Make sure they're able to be soldiers with your message, the message that you need to get out there right now. And I'll put a few links below to prior podcasts that were mentioned in this episode and to the Flipping 50 specialist. And what are you waiting for? The world needs you right now more than ever.